So this is my rod holder. Anybody's got a Sea-Doo Speedster that's been running around burning gas and then you discover one day that just, there's a lot of spots you like to stop and probably fish. But on this boat there's just nowhere to put a rod, there's nowhere to keep anything or hold anything, strap anything down. So I decided the easiest place was the ski pylon. So I took out the ski pylon and I fabricated myself a little aluminum rod holder, the plate, I bought a six rod holder, bolted it on and it fits right in there and it keeps everything out of the way. Engine cover still, still opens without uh, hitting it. You can still sit in the seats without banging your head and it keeps everything centralized so you can move around the boat, you can still fish, everything's in the middle and it works great. So once you go out, I take a pinfish trap, some frozen chicken, put the chicken in it, throw it over, catch the bait, fish for a little bit. And then of course you need a cooler. And the same thing, if you've ever put a cooler in a speedster, you realize it bounces around and just doesn't work, you keep tripping over it. So the only obvious place is on the back. But there's nothing to tie it down to, so I put a couple of cleats on, a couple of stainless cleats with backing plates, and with the tie downs for the for the boat, you can strap it down and keep it out the way. So then you can fill it full of ice, it'll stay put, it's out of the boat, you can still open the engine, engine cover, and it all works great. But I wouldn't recommend putting bungees on the cooler. If you've got 40, 50 pounds of ice or whatever in it, bungees are going to be, uh, you hit some rough water, you're going you're gonna to have a slingshot. And it's more likely to bounce around and come and smack in the back of the head and knock some sense into you. So you really need to strap it down because it's going to get bounced around quite a bit.